Hello YouTube, it's Phil Stuff again, coming to you with my first repair video. This will be somewhat of a, um, what you call it, tear down, but also repair hopefully, we'll see. So, if you didn't watch my first video, I picked this thing up, it's a Mr. Heater, portable buddy, got it for like 40 bucks. It's pretty much brand new, but it was open box or out of the box. And it was probably some kind of custom return because it doesn't work. Now, I have tested it, and uh, I could probably show it to you on camera what my test was. In fact, maybe I'll do that right now. Okay, so to test this thing, I need one of these, right? Got to give it some, give it some firepower. Let me show you how it works. Apologize for the camera jiggling and stuff, but it's on my table until I can figure something else out or build something, I should say. Now I'll do a video on building a camera uh, mount. Anyway, this goes here. And of course, we got the warning. See warning below before you each use this product. And it goes on to say when you put it in there, make sure you do a soap test and everything else to make sure it's not leaking. I have to say that's uh, quite the warning because I can't imagine that there's really anyone who soap tests this every time they put a tank on it. There we go. Tank is on. It's in position, which actually brings the point. It's got this cool little magnet under here, right down here, that allows that allows the tank to stick to it and kind of keeps it in place. Kind of cool little feature. All right, so. I don't have an owner's manual from it, but what I found by watching some videos online is that you take this here control knob, valve control knob, and you put it into the, you push down slightly, turn it into the pilot position. You hold it down, but you don't, if you hold it down, if you push too far, I should say, it clicks and it runs the little spark down here in the pilot. So you're supposed to hold it down for a little bit before pushing it all the way. Then you push it all the way down, and it sparks, and you keep it held down, and then you let up after like 10 seconds or something. Well, it sparks, but it never lights the pilot, despite my best efforts at trying. I don't know if you can see if it's sparking from your vantage point there, but it does spark every time, but no lighting. So, we will introduce flame this way so I get this all right so I turned the volume way down because the torch just made too much noise but what I do is I use the torch here to light or at least heat up the flame detector which sits in front of the pilot normally and then in turn it heats up and then allows the main heating element to light and you can't really see it on camera I try to mess with a little bit shade the the lights and eventually you can see a little bit of orange but uh, it does work for a short period of time, and then when the flame detector cools off, it goes out. It doesn't work so well on camera. And there it went. It shut off. So, I think it did anyway. No, it's still going. Yeah, it's still going. It turns, you can see it kind of glowing orange, and of course my hands are getting hot sticking them in the way of the light. Um, let's see if I can do this. Block the light up there. Oh, there it went. I don't know if you heard the click. So that's the flame detector finally cooled off enough and it put it out. So that's the safety feature because if you don't have flame then it means the gas is either out of gas or gas is being released without being burned. You want it to turn off in that case. So that's where it's at. That's how it's working or not working. But that identifies that some reason the gas is not getting to the pilot light in order for it to light. Because even if I put it in the pilot position, which I didn't show, and hold the flame there, it never lights, never lights a pilot flame. So now I got to figure out how to take this thing apart. And I've looked it over. I haven't actually tried anything yet. It's got some screws in the handle. I'll probably have to take the handle off first, because I believe, well, because then there's screws that sit here on each side of the handle. But I'm guessing that if I take these screws out on the sides, that the handle here will be keeping them from coming off. 
And this side has screws down at the bottom too. They look to be just normal Phillips screws. Nothing special. So, let the teardown commence. Okay, so if we look up in here, make sure you can see that. This tube right here, this, that's, I mean, it's the top, because that's the top that way. This top tube comes off, comes down here. Wait, no, that's the main one. You can't even see the, so, that's great, hit the camera. Good job. Back here in the back is a tube that comes along, and it goes down under here. And you see it goes right here, and that's the pilot. So I need to get some. Oh, I went another screw. Good deal. So I need to get into there, and that should be fun. Hey guys and gals, so if you're paying attention or if you're pretty good at troubleshooting stuff, you probably noticed a big problem or a big mistake on my part here. I had a problem with the pilot and I should have focused on checking the easy thing first and then moving on to the more difficult stuff, but I was distracted with the video making and I ended up just tearing this whole thing into pieces and then realizing, hey, I should check the pilot light orifice to see if there's a problem with it there and not just completely tear this thing all, all apart. So as you can see, I'm almost completely finished tearing it apart and in the end of the video coming here pretty quick, uh, I'll fast forward to it, but you'll see the result or the conclusion and yeah, face palm. Shouldn't have gotten this, done all this work for it. But in the end, I got the thing apart, looked at it. You can kind of see what it looks like on the inside and um, Hopefully, if someone else has a problem, they don't have to go through this whole step, oh, this whole mess that I did. We're getting somewhere. We're getting down to the meat of her. All right. Well. So, something's wrong with this part here. This one's not getting any gas. So let's take a look at this piece. This here would be, or is, and you can't see through it. So I'm guessing there's some kind of check valve thing. Well, there would be the problem right there. Look at that. I could have found that a lot easier without having to do all this. We have a spider made their nest in the pilot. Awesome. So, of course, it's not going to get any gas. Well, that was easy enough. So, now I got to put this whole thing back together. I'll spare you the details. All right, everyone, as you can see, I did get it put back together. I haven't put the handle on it because I'm not sure where all these parts go. There's some washers in here that I'm not sure if they were in there before. I don't remember and if they go on here or not. So I'm gonna have to go back and rewatch the video, but it's back together to a point where I can test. Now, just so you know, I already did test it, so I know that it does work. And I also know that I need to turn the lights out in order for you to see. So I'm going to go ahead and turn out my lights so that you can see what is going on here. Now I'm not sure. Let's see if I turn. There we go. 
Only got 15 different lights to turn off. All right, so down at the bottom is where the pilot is. Come on, there we go. You just see it blue. Yep, you do. Now I would tilt it up so you could see it better, except for that the tilt sensor then turns it off. So we let the pilot go for a little bit to heat up the flame sensor. It should be hot enough now. Yep, there we go. Lights the uh, the main burner. Now I'm gonna go ahead and turn it up because with the with it on low you can't really see it. It's gonna start turning red. Oh, you can see it blue. Okay, so you can see it. There it goes. It starts turning kind of that orange. And it's putting out a lot of heat. That's nice. So I'm glad it's working. So, alright guys. Thanks for watching. And uh, until next time, have fun. Go make something.